Hello collective. I am back again with another um, collective reading, general reading for you guys. Okay. If you have watched my videos before, then welcome back. If you have never been to my channel, this is the first time, please take a moment to like and subscribe. Okay. Um, because I promise you, you'll like it here. All right. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get into the messages. Um, I do want to say as always. Please remember that these are general messages, okay? Everything is not going to resonate for everyone, okay? So please only take what is for you, what applies to your situation, and leave the rest for someone else. If it does not fit, please do not try to put the pieces in the holes that don't fit. Do not try to put the triangle in the square, okay? It's not going to fit, <laughs> all right? So please keep that in mind. Also keep in mind, feel free to switch to energies as needed. Masculine and feminine can be switched to apply to your situation if it resonates with you that way. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if I want to. Yeah. All right. This message, we're going to find out um, in these messages who is watching you guys. Who's spying on you and why? Who's watching you? Who's spying on you? Who's talking about you? Whatever the situation may be. And why? Okay. Shuffle for the collective. Shuffle for the collective. That was a sloppy shuffle, y'all. My bad. Don't talk about me. Shuffle for the collective. Look at that two of wands flipping over there. <sighs> Somebody's waiting on something. I don't know what that two of wands is about, but it flipped on over. So we'll see if it comes out again. All right. Hold the last spirit. I need to use the to spirit guides. Please give me clear and accurate messages for the collective right now. Tell me who is watching or spying on the collective. What do they need to know about this person? Wow, two of cups. <laughs> Who's watching the stuff? Whoa. Queen of Cups came out in the reverse. Who is watching and are spying on the collective right now? What do they need to know? King of Wands. And one more, please, spare for who's watching and spying on the collective. Thank you so much, Queen of Swords. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Tower moment on the bottom here. Somebody's moving away from a tower moment here on the bottom. Okay, let me see if I get too into that. Let's find out what's going on here. Overall energy. Look at the overall energy, y'all, on the top of the deck. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. The page of swords, the cards of spot. Law have mercy. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to just, let me just find somewhere to put this. I left my little thingy things in my room. Hold on, y'all. I'll be right back. All right, guys. That's crazy. I just, this is indeed the right place for y'all. If y'all hear about spying, there we go. I'm going to leave that card out. Overall energy. <laughs> right on the top of the deck. Yes, and the three of cups. Look at that. Wow. Probably a couple of people, a group of people, maybe a pat, maybe a lover or somebody like that. Okay, let's not get too ahead of ourselves, though. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, collective. Listen, that three of cups is on is is up next here. So I feel like that could possibly be. I don't know if it's. There's three people in this card, okay, and there's three people here. So at least three people are spying on you. I'm gonna set this queen of wands, this queen of cups up just because. I mean. If it needs to be, whatever needs to come out is going to come out anyway. So, um, but yeah, there's at least three people spying on you. This could possibly be, uh, some of, 
don't know. I was about to say these people could be in a, in a all in a relationship, or maybe there's a relationship here that involves a third party person here. I do see two feminine, two females here and a male. Okay, um, this three of cups does have three people on it. All right, so either there's three people watching you, or somebody is watching you. Um, as it pertains to um, a, a relationship here, like somebody in that's in a relationship, just say these two people right here, this Queen of Cups and the Queen and the King of Wands is watching this Queen of Swords, okay? Or either they're all three watching you, okay? But we're gonna figure out what the heck is going on right here. I cannot believe that Page of Swords came out like that, y'all. All right, the Two of Cups. Why are the Two of Cups here? All right, page of wands here. Okay, you could be getting good news here, collective. Okay, um, you can have some good news coming in. Oh, what's that? Okay, three of swords. That's not good news. Okay, I see some heartbreak here. I mean, that card just flew out. I don't know if I should take it. I'm gonna put it out to the side. I ain't gonna put it back, but I'm gonna put it out to the side. What's the card? The card? Okay. Right by the page of wands, please, spirit. Okay, forward movement here. Yeah, somebody is moving forward from a relationship here. This could be you, um, collective. I don't know. But somebody is very focused on their money and on their coins, okay? Making a decision to be focused on their money here, okay? Um... Why is the Queen of Cups here for who's spying on the collective? Why is the Queen of Cups here for who's spying on the collective spirit? Okay. So this could be an Aquarius, first of all. Could be um, a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. All right. A star. Clap out a star, please. Clap out a star, please. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Because I, I don't know if I should have kept this in the reverse or not. Um, But I don't know. I feel like somebody somebody's watching over here. The Knight of Cups, Offer, Justice, and the Sun. Okay, I see some truth coming out about something, possibly something to do with a relationship here. Five of Cups, somebody's sad, there's some grief and sorrow, okay, that could be why this Three of Swords is here, and somebody's walking away from the situation here. Okay, what's the King of Wands? Why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands here, Spirit? King of Swords. Hmm. That's four people now. I mean, that's and this is a couple here. So third party new beginning. Okay, what in the hell is going on here? Because I'm feeling like somebody left the connection. Okay, somebody got some news. Okay, about a relationship that has something to do with a relationship, right? And looks like they're either leaving a person or they're going towards somebody here. Okay, I'm feeling like I should have left this card in the reverse here because... I'm getting single energy, like somebody healing from something because they were hurt. Someone's very emotional here, okay? And um, doing their own thing, like being very independent here with this Queen of Cups. Okay, what's the, and then you got the the King of Sword, the King of Wands here, and the King of Swords. Okay, I'm feeling like let me let me get one more card. What's the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords here for who's spying on the collective? Why is the King of Swords here? Page of Cups. Okay. 
Okay. Somebody can have a decision to make here. Yeah, the Two of Pentacles here, Knight of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, okay. Somebody is trying to decide whether they should stay or whether they should leave here. Um, yeah, I see somebody apologizing for something that they did here, something that they said an argument or um, apologizing for a third party situation possibly apologizing for some sort of for like putting their hands on somebody or something all right but i see somebody trying to apologize to someone but it's like i don't see it being accepted here this king of wands king of wands and king of swords i'm feeling like they could have gotten into an argument or something like that. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here for a collective spirit? Two cups. And clarify the Ten of Cups, please. Clarify the Ten of Cups, please. Oh, yeah. I was about to say the truth came out about something. Okay, there's that Ace of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Damn! Okay, this is a lot of people. What is going on here? I'm th the truth definitely came out about something here. Somebody found out the truth about this Ten of Cups here. About their family. Something about their family. Something about kids here or something like that i don't know why i'm getting like a pregnancy uh maybe somebody found out the truth about a pregnancy maybe somebody said they were pregnant or something like that and the truth came out don't know if they were or they're not or whatever but i don't know Okay, and then now the King of Pentacles is right here. The Ten of Pentacles in the world. Something's coming to an end. King of Pentacles here. With the Queen of Pentacles over here. Yeah, somebody. What the hell? Somebody knows that that person was doing something or out here being sneaky or cheating or giving their offering time and money and stuff to somebody else and emotion somebody knows that the other person I'm, feel, I'm seeing two people who miss each other here with the king and queen of pentacles here all right so this could be like somebody who used to be in a relationship with this king and queen of cups and i'm seeing two people that miss each other here okay so, and I feel like they both want to be together. Like, they want to reconcile here with the Six of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Look, like, it's like one person is giving, is offering something, and the other person is offering something as well. Okay? So, I'm feeling like, but somebody doesn't like that here. See, I just got her arms crossed, her arms folded. Somebody doesn't like that. Okay, let's see. What is going on here, Spirit? What is the message? What is the message here? Cause you have. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. Why is the six of swords here, Spirit? Why is the six of swords here? Look, seven of wands in the reverse. So somebody's trying to stop someone from moving on here okay I feel like it's all centers around a heartbreak like I'm getting arguments lots of back and forth here somebody was uh, 
definitely entertaining multiple people here with the seven of cups and the three of cups here um why is the seven of wands here what's here Could have got on the bus then. The Empress. Okay, I feel like somebody stopped trying to stop someone from moving toward moving toward the Empress. Yeah, we have the Nine of Wands here. Blocked. Two of Swords blocked. There was a tower moment and somebody, yeah, is moving on. The chariot and the eight of cups. Somebody sad about it. Five of cups. All right, but I see a victory and a win. It seems like new offers coming in and all this stuff. But somebody's trying to block this person from moving forward. Or somebody's trying to stop a connection here. Possibly with the Libra or a Taurus here. What's the, um, what's the Nine of Pentacles, Spirit? What's the Nine of Pentacles? Six of Pentacles, yeah, that Six of Pentacles came on out. I see like, oh my goodness, I'm so confused. Yeah, I guess somebody definitely wants to offer something here to this uh, Empress here. Everything is pointing this way. The Six of Pentacles is pointing, offering toward the Empress. The Page of Cups is offering toward the Empress here, okay? But somebody's trying to stop this connection here. The Six of Cups on the bottom here is an offering, okay? The Ten of Pentacles on the top. And the Strength card, wow, yeah. There's the Knight of Cups, a proposal here. The Five of Pentacles, leaving somebody out in the cold. Wow. Secrets revealed. What is happening? What's the page of cups here, Spirit? What is the page of cups here? Thank you. Wow. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. <sighs> Somebody's definitely trying to stop this offer. Definitely trying to stop this offer. Three of Cups here again on the bottom of the deck. The Eight of Wands with the Four of Cups. Uh oh, what's that? Flipping on out like that. The High Priestess. I'm so confused. Let's see. Let me get the other deck here because. Let me see. What's going on here? <laughs> 16, 16 on the clock, on the timer. Shuffle for the collective. For the person who's crying on them. What's going on here? I see like two people maybe watching each other. Like two females watching each other. The Page of Swords is facing this way. And then the Nine of uh, Pentacles is facing that way. Okay? And they're like the only ones who's like watching each other. So somebody... I feel like somebody's about to be single or something like that, okay? And this person is watching to see where someone goes. Someone's watching to see where the other person goes. Like, if they're going to go toward, if they're going to come toward you or what, okay? So, what is this? I'm going to find out who these people are because I'm so confused right now. Shuffling for the collective. Shuffling for the collective. Okay, Spirit, tell me who this Queen of Cups is. Why is this Queen of Cups here? Who is this Queen of Cups? Who is this Queen of Cups? The Creator. That's a no. Huh. Who is going to cut here? The high priestess. What? 
Okay, I feel like somebody is not using their uh, intuitions here. Somebody is very um, sneaky. Wow, Six of Swords sticking out there. Somebody knows that it's time to leave, I feel like. Or somebody knows that this person has to go, but they don't want them to leave. Oh, God, why am I hearing that, Tracy? <laughs> I don't want to leave. Or in this case, they don't want you to leave, but they know you have to go. Yeah, they're in their head about it, anxiety, and worried about it here. Okay? Perfect. What else for this Queen of Swords? I feel like this Queen of Swords knows that, that somebody is trying to leave them, okay? And they're trying to see. Well, I'm trying to take my shower. The Fool and the Five of Pentacles okay, and the Reverse. I don't know. I feel like somebody's ready to risk it all here. Somebody's ready to just, like, take a leap of faith and risk it all, okay? Because they don't want to be left out in the cold or something like that. I'm seeing the Hierophant and the Justice on the bottom here with the Eight of Cups. So somebody could be walking away from a marriage or a, like a serious partnership here, deciding that they don't want to be burdened anymore here by this uh by this relationship, this two of cups relationship. Yeah, okay. There's too much conflict and chaos and arguing back and forth in this relationship, and they want to start over and have a new beginning here. Okay, possibly with a past person. Yeah, nine of cups. Somebody is single here. There's a change happening. Two of Pentacles, somebody's trying to find harmony and balance, okay? I feel like somebody's been saving up to be able to leave somebody with this Four of Pentacles here. Saving and foundation and stability here. And this Five of Pentacles is in reverse. I feel like somebody's been saving up to be able to leave somebody, possibly this Queen of Cups, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. Why is this King of Wands here? Why is this King of Wands here? Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Why this King of Wands here, Spirit? Wow. King of Swords in reverse now. Wow. The King of Swords is under here, upright, and now it's in reverse here. Okay. Ambition, power, and influence. So somebody's losing their power and their influence over somebody here. Huh. Somebody's losing their power and their influence over somebody here. This person is um, ready to move on here and to be single, Some someone here, okay? Yeah, there's, there's that stability again, okay? Somebody's ready to move on, okay? And this it's making this, um, their person, this King of Wands, is feeling like, whereas right here, he had all the power and control and, um, and all the influence over this person now, they don't have that anymore. Mm. Why is the King of Swords here in reverse, Spirit, for this King of Wands? Why is the King of Swords here in reverse for this King of Wands? Five of Swords, yep. Because they were toxic, they were um, causing a lot of conflict, loss, upheaval here, all right? Um, they were um, putting this, this person in uncomfortable situations here. Could have been mentally, verbally, physically abusive, okay? Um, or could have just been a lot of arguing, a lot of back and forth. This person was very sneaky, all right? Possibly disloyal here. Yeah, the devil card on the bottom, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're toxic, like I said. This person is, was toxic. And now this person is leaving and putting up their boundaries here. Six of Wands, succeeding in getting away from this person and starting over here. Yeah, with the Page of Cups and the um the Chariot here. Mm-hmm. Working on themselves, working hard to get away from the Seven of Swords energy from this person, from this dishonest person. Yup, the Wheel of Fortune here. Something's changing. There's a shift in this person's attitude here, and they're in their... Um, in the you know in their in their life, I guess okay, and that because now they're moving on to this nine of cups energy being single here because they've gone through a transformation here. 
And they're, they're trying to change this stuff. And everything for them is about to change here with the magician here. They could be stepping into their power here, okay? They could be a master manifester here, all right? They're finding the strength here to move on. They could be, um, shit, they could be starting a whole new family with somebody else or have a new family with somebody else here. Okay. What else for this king of wands? Why is this five of swords here? Yeah, I feel like this is karma justice for this. This is karma for this uh, king of wands here for how they treated this person. Yeah, and look, justice is on the bottom. I said karma justice. Yeah, this part, they're being left by someone because of how this person is treating them. Yeah, eight of cups and the seven of cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person is deciding to walk away from the situation. Seven of cups and the four of wands deciding to walk away from this situation here and to... Um, they got some good news coming in. Some more good news. Page of Wands here and Page of Wands here. Okay? Yeah, they trying to be single. They trying to change change some shit. All right? Why is this uh Queen of Swords here? here? Why is this Queen of Swords here? Thank you. The Hierophant in the reverse. Okay. Why is the Hierophant in the reverse here? Whoa, whoa. The Death card in the reverse? What else here? What else for this Queen of Swords? What else for this Queen of Swords? What in the hell is going on with this Queen of Swords? Okay. Four of Cups and the Page of Wands all in the reverse. Okay. So somebody's going through a divorce, I feel like. Somebody is no longer able to control this person. Yeah, they, they're not able to manipulate this person anymore. This this person, this King of Wands, or somebody here was like a puppet master here, okay? And they're no longer able to, like, even get to this person. Like, this person is completely done with them, completely unbothered by them, completely cutting them off here with this Queen of Swords energy, okay? Completely cutting this person off here. Cut the bullshit, okay? Nothing. You cannot talk to me. I don't want your offers. You can't even get to me in order to make an offer here. I don't want to hear about your good news. I don't want to see or hear your apologies. It's over with. I'm no longer attached to you. Wow. Yeah, temperance. Look, a nose up in the air. Like, I ain't got time for that shit. I'm moving. I'm looking forward to the future, honey. Here, three of wands. Look, she's got her binoculars. Looking forward to the future. All right. Ain't nobody got no time for that. Wow. Seven of wands blocking everything. Yeah, this they cannot get to this person. So, I don't know. I feel like collective that this person is trying to come. There's somebody trying to come toward you. Okay. Okay, so somebody is trying to get to you or come towards you or something like that. They're trying to watch you, but they can't because you moved on here. All right? They can't get to you in any way because you changed here. All right? It's like you got a new attitude. You got a new life. You probably got a new man, new woman, whatever, whatever. And, you, yeah, four of wands on the top. Mm -hmm. And you live your best life, eight of wands. You moving forward from this person. You ain't got no time for that. Two of Wands, plans and partnership here. Uh, the Three of Swords is here with this Three of Cups energy. Yeah, they broke your heart here. And now they want to work it out. But you like, nah, bro. Nah, sis. Nah, bro. Wow. What else, dude? Anything else that the, that the collective needs to know? about who's firing them and who's firing on them and watching on them. Anything else that the collective needs to know, Spirit. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Like somebody wants to work it out. But Eight of Wands, you like get on with that shit. <laughs> I get on with that shit. Why is the eight of wands here? <laughs> Thank you, spirit. The world, yeah. You're ending this cycle here. You're moving on with the set with the chariot here. You are ending this cycle. Like, no, like, can you go on with that shit? Yeah. 
the um, Knight of Wands here on the top of the deck. Yeah, moving forward, you're using your intuition. You're like flowing free. You know what the, you know what it is. You already know what it is when this person wants to talk, what they want to talk to you about, what they're about, all this. So you already know what it is. So you're like, no, get on with that shit, okay? You are moving forward here to success and change here with the Ace of Swords. And that, that uh, leopard there is turning around like... Who you talking to? Like, who, who? Who? Second chance with who? Who you talking to? Yeah, Knight of Cups. I'm moving on. On to something better here. I got new offers coming in here. Queen of Wands. I am back in my power. Yes, Justice card. My life is bouncing back out. My skin is clear. My I smell good. My hair is done. Like, ain't nobody got time for that. No, 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 no. Block. Get on with that. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah, that king of wands. <laughs> you motivated, okay? You are motivated to get away from this person. Like, this person is also, like, asking about you. Like, trying to figure out what you got going on, what you doing, whatever. Because if they can't physically get to you, or if they can't, like, look you up online or see you or watch you or whatever to figure out what it is that you got going on here, then they asking people about you. They asking, do you do you know where the collective is? Have you seen them? Have you talked to them? 3131 on the clock, okay? Have you seen them? Have you talked to them? You know their new number? Like, shit like that. Yeah, look at that Nine of Swords came out. They up in their head about it. Yeah, because they can't get to you. Oh, you cut them off completely, boo. You, like, change your number. You and your Hermit energy right here with Hermit on the top. Yeah, you, you done cut them completely off here. Ace of Cups, you on to something better. New beginning here. Ace of Pentacles, you on to something better here. Yeah, possibly to a damn King of Pentacles or King, Queen, however it resonates with you. Okay, but this person is in their head trying to figure out what you got going on, why they can't get in touch with you, what's your phone number, where you moved to, did you get a new car, what kind of car you got if you did. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Anything else for this nine of swords here? For this king of wands. Yeah, this king of wands done lost all his power. All his power. All his power. The Empress came out here. I feel like this is you guys. This is your energy. Okay. Yeah, the eight of wands. On something that on something better. Yeah, the magician. You guys are shit. Resting and recovering. Look at that. You guys are um uh taking action here. You are. You could be manifesting things that are coming to fruition here. You guys are just taking action. Whatever it is that will make your life better and everything, that's what you guys are doing. Nothing else, okay? You're not dealing with no BS from nobody, okay? Look at look at that four of swords, how she just laying there. Rest and recovery. Quiet. You enjoying your peace. You enjoying your time alone here. She she's sleeping peacefully. Rest, recovery, and quiet. This is this is you. <laughs> this is you. You like I ain't got time for that bullshit. Yeah, yeah, with that seven of coins, you, you, you are choosing yourself. You're choosing healing here. You see that? you like, uh-uh, I don't think nobody got time for that. Don't tell nobody where I'm at. I'm good. I'm stable, okay? I am secure. I'm probably with somebody else, okay, with the Ten of Pentacles here. <clears throat> no, nah, this is them. They want to keep you trapped up in this energy with them. They feel like you can't do anything without them. They feel like they were your stability and your security and um, everything, okay? But now that you don't need them, they losing their mind. <laughs> uh, ooh, wee, wee, wee. Yep, and look at that. We're going to end it right there. The Mother Star card says yes. Spirit says yes. That's what's happening. That is the truth. Queen of Swords on the bottom cutting through the bullshit. That is the truth. Strength and ambition and truth. That's the truth. Spirit said, that's enough, girl. That's the truth. Five of cups <laughs> on the top. This is how they in their head right now. Grieving, sad. Yeah, sad over the past. Sad over the shit that they did here. Mm -hmm. All right. We're leaving that alone, Spirit. I'm moving on. Moving on to something better and better and better. No more trying to make it work. <laughs> you make me want to say bye-bye. Let's go to this next deck and see what the messages are here. Shut them for the collector. Why are they getting spied on? Who's watching them and why? 
stuff knows what to collect. And yeah, so yeah. Basically, your ex past person or somebody here that has no access to you anymore is trying to watch you. They trying to figure out what you're doing here. But you making it very, very hard for them here. Very hard. Seven of Four Collective. Wow. I just saw the king and look at the king and queen of uh coins right there together. So you guys could be moving on to someone else. You could be in a new relationship here. Alright. Seven of Four Collective. Who spied on them and why spirit? Alright, tell me what's in the collective's near future, Big Spirit. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> King of Cups here, okay? Emotionally contained, head over heart, no drama, kind hearted, diplomatic, and artistic, okay? You guys could be running into a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio, alright? Somebody that's going to give you equal give and take or a Taurus here, okay? Giving and receiving here, okay? Balance, accept, generosity, equal give and take. Kindness, care, and being valued. Yeah, y'all about to run into somebody that's going to value y'all for who you are, all right? That you ain't got to worry about no drama with. You ain't got to worry about no cheating with. This person is very in tune with themselves and with their emotions here. They're not afraid to express their emotions here, all right? Um, yeah, the high priestess here is on the top of the deck. Higher self, divine feminine, yeah. Divine feminine, inner knowing, illuminated mystery here. Mm -hmm. Time to celebrate. Three of Cups, overflowing of love here. Okay. Um, you have looks can be deceiving here, but good things take time. Doing this together. I don't know why that seven of swords is right there in the middle, all that good stuff, but I feel like maybe this person is just someone that you're not gonna be expecting here, okay? Look, because look, you got the hyphen on the bottom here, religious tradition. This could be the person that you guys are gonna marry. The um High Priestess here is the Divine Feminine, okay? This could be the person that you guys are going to marry here. Or this person could just um, teach you some new things here about, you know, your faith and about values or something like that. Or this is these are going to be the things that you like about this person, okay? Um, you have the Will of Fortune, Decisive Moments, Karma, karma Destiny, Life Cycle, It's Time, okay? Fate. This is fate that you're going to run into this person here. Queen of Cups here, Emotionally Connected. Y'all are going to be emotionally connected. This King of Cups is emotionally, emotional mastery, okay? The Queen of Cups, emotionally connected. No drama, very deep feelings. Y'all going to, shit, okay? This person's going to be a natural born leader here. This person's going to make you very, very happy, okay? Um, Five of Cups says, yeah, this is this other person. I thought the... The past person or whoever, they always sneak in here during during some good moments, okay? You got the five of cups, lost, resisting, uh, resisting grief, change. Uh, we already know they don't want to let you go here, okay? Because you, um, but you found your inner strength here. You were very candid with this person. You were very realistic um, in this situation here. You were very point blank and forward with this person when you said, I can't do this anymore. I'm leaving. I'm gone. Goodbye, okay? Yeah. A test of faith. This wow. This whole situation has been a test of your faith for you to find your divine union, your divine partner here with the lovers card. Yep, you gain you gain clarity, insight, and awareness here. You gained the clarity that you needed to walk away from this person, eight of cups here, and you found the strength that you needed to walk away from this person with the strength card. Okay. Final chapter is closing. It's closing, break up, divorce, ruins, rock bottom, victim energy. That's this person trying to play the victim here, dead end. Breakdown, no, it's over with. Yeah, it's over with. You got a future, you're making a plan for the future here. Future plan into a wand, vision, opportunity, decisions, considering every angle here. This person is going through emotional pain. You also went through some emotional pain too, but guess what? You're balancing yourself back out because you are a powerhouse of energy. Okay, they need to, they better go somewhere and do the same thing you're doing, balancing yourself out. Okay, all right. How is this person coming in for the collective? How's this uh, new person coming in for the collective spirit? Okay, you got the Ten of Wands here, heavy load. All right, what else? How's this new person coming in for the collective? How is this new person coming in for the I'm feeling like some of you are going <laughs> to meet this person when you're like on a walk or something, like on a run or something. Um, if you go running or if you go walking or like at a park or something, I don't know. I feel like you're going to be doing something 
to where um, if you if you are a, a female, I feel like you're going to be doing something to where it looks like, okay, I'm getting moving in. Wow, I don't know. Uh, I just heard like moving in a new house or something like that. You guys could be moving. I don't know. But I feel like you guys are going to be doing something to where you're trying to pick up something real, real heavy, okay? Like literally carrying a heavy load, like trying to pick up something heavy. And this person sees you struggling and they offer help or something like that. I don't know why I just got that, but that's what I got from that. What else is going on for how is this person coming toward the collective? How is the collective going to meet this person? How are they coming in? For the collective, I saw swept off your feet here. Um, all right. You have a test of faith here. All right. Um, it says courage and boundaries, grit, determination, faith, endurance, standing firm. Oh, God. I feel like you, put, you guys are going to... Um, this person is going to come in and offer you guys some help here and um you're going to be like no nah, I got it it's okay I got it I don't need any help I got it or say you're going to a store or something like that and then you need help putting something in your car or something like that okay and somebody's going to offer you some help here and, and you're going to be like uh that's okay I got it I'm strong I can do it <laughs> But look here on the bottom of the deck, what you don't see coming is a love and exchange, union of the hearts, in sync, mutual attraction, new partner and companionship, dedication to the craft. This person will be very dedicated to you, okay? This person could also be um, self-employed here. They could have their own business, all right? They could be very, very hard working here, but not only are they going to be dedicated to their work, but they'll be dedicated to you, honey, because you are the divine, the empress here, the divine feminine, y'all. And they could give you a new perspective here. All right, with the hangman, a new perspective. Aha moment, perspective, awakening, epiphanies, release, let go, yield. Yeah, just let the thing go and let the let the man help you or or whatever it, the case is <laughs> for you guys. Okay. Yeah. What else for how is um how is the collective gonna meet this person? How is this person coming in for the collective? How is this person coming in for the collective? Okay, my goodness. They're going to be very charming, very confident, very energetic, or this is how they're going to um, think. look at you. They're going to be very attractive to you, but it's, um, uh, they're going to think you're very uh, uh, sexy, very strong and outgoing because you won't let them help you, okay? <laughs> or if you're a masculine, this could be you, the, the, the woman won't let, you know, you help them or whatever, okay? Or however it resonates for you. Um, but you have the four of cups here as well. I feel like you guys are just going to be very reluctant about this person. Very, um, very, uh, duh, 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 duh. yeah, if this person like tries to hit on you or whatever, or you try to hit on this person, they, somebody could be very reluctant, okay? Because they could just be still going through something here and they're just gonna be like probably really not in the mood to just be courted or be paid attention to or they don't want to hear how beautiful they look today like they got a lot on their mind right now but I feel like that's gonna be the energy that they're in when you meet them but I'm seeing swept off your feet here on the bottom to what you don't see coming all right shameless flirt, flirt excitement confident energetic more charming okay this person is gonna charm your drawers right off <laughs> i feel like this person gonna charm your drawers right off okay um yeah but you guys are going through some stuff with your hermit mode you know you've been in isolation so you probably don't even really know you've been healing yourself and been isolated for so long here okay solitude and growth all right and contemplating your past and your present and your future and stuff. You've been in that energy for so long. You don't even really know or trust when somebody is being genuine with you or whatever. And I understand that. Okay. But you got the lovers here. The divine union again. Mm -hmm. Y'all y'all better let this person help y'all. Okay. All right. Um, what's the possible outcome here between the collective and a new person coming in? What is the possible outcome here between the collective and the new person coming in for them? 
because we already know who's spying on y'all. So, <laughs> oh my God. Y'all, this is Six of Cups here. Comforting connection. Right? Landed right over this, okay? I don't even want to touch it. I'm going to leave it laying there. But it landed right over the situation. When I said, how y'all going to meet this person? Uh, this is a comforting connection for you. This could be somebody that you run into that you know as well. Somebody from your past, okay? Somebody um, that you knew from your childhood or grew up with. Somebody that used to live across the street from you when you were younger or something like that, okay? But it says tenderness, sweet little things in life. Sweet things in life. Shared moments in a citizen soulmate. Yeah, this could be some... This this is probably why that um, looks can be deceiving was sitting in the middle of that. Because it's like you don't see this person coming or this is an unexpected person for you guys. But it could be somebody that you do know here and wish granted on the bottom here what you don't see coming. Your wish is going to be granted. Following your heart. Heeding the call. Yeah, this person could um, take you right out of the depths of despair here. Okay, yeah, because y'all, I feel like, are in a doom and gloom type energy when you meet this person here. You're in a dark, dark place maybe or you're just trying to come out of that dark place. And I feel like... I feel like it's going to happen fairly quickly, though, because I feel like as soon as you guys come out of that place and you decide that, hey, I'm ready to get back out there, you start manifesting your dreams here, and then it's like, boom, this person pops up. Like, damn, I just said, but, and, and you don't recognize it because it just happened. You're like, I literally just asked for this. Like, where did you come from? <laughs> like, this is a setup. Who sent you? What's the possible outcome for uh, the collective and this new person? Okay, that's way too many. Uh-uh. 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 What is the possible outcome between the collective and a new person? This new person. Look at that. Thank you. Uh-huh. Champion of Cups. Page of Cups. I mean, Knight of Cups. Sorry. Following your um heart. Affection, attraction, romantic proposals, and invitation, charming, chivalry. Mm -hmm. All that stuff. Yep. Romantic proposals. Wish granted. Yep, I'm telling y'all, as soon as y'all start getting ready to be laying out there, look at this fell out of my hand, religious, that marriage, romantic proposals, invitations, y'all gonna be sitting out with some wedding invitations, that's what's gonna happen when you meet this new person, okay, lots of affection, lots of attraction, eventually, not initially, because y'all gonna be like ready to push them back initially, alright, you have lack of perspective, temperance in reverse, excess, impatient, discord, self-indulgence, and antagonism, oh wow, okay, Wow, I don't know what that is. Maybe this person could be a little impatient with you. Because they want to be with you. Like, they really want to be with you here with the um, four wands here. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, four wands. Okay, a union here. And then looks are deceiving and needing an outlet. Okay. I'm going to just tell y'all. Because I did see that King of Swords. That fell out when I said it was too many cards. That King of Swords was on top. So this person could be. Oh gosh. This person is going to be like. They could have like a little temper. Okay. They could have like a little temper. I'm not even going to lie. So everything can be look everything can look good on the surface. They can be fine. They can be very charming. They can be come to your rescue when you need to pick up some some heavy shit or get some tall shit off the shelf or something like that. Okay, but they they might have a little temper now. What's this imbalance here? What's this um? What is this imbalance here? For the possible outcome. Why is that here? Yeah, making a plan and the three of swords crossed over here. Emotional pain, grief, disillusionment, sorrow, tears, depression, heartbreak, loss, and misunderstanding. So they could be a little impatient about your healing process or something like that. Uh, maybe they don't understand why you still why you're still grieving over somebody or why you're still trying to um why you're still thinking about this person or something like that, but you guys are technically still going through your healing phase when you meet this person, like I said here. All right. So the two of wands here, a vision, opportunity, decisions, future planning, discovery, considering every angle. So I feel like you guys are going to do a lot of, um, you know, a lot of searching, soul searching, a lot of considering to see if this is somebody that you really want to be with here. 
this new person here i mean they're very strong charismatic person they are um they could just be a little quick tempered i don't see like um in a in an abusive type way you know i don't see the five of swords here or anything like that i don't see the five of swords anywhere right here yeah i think this person just needs someone to like tame them calm them down or something like that here oh wow I see the devil here, but I see the Ten of Cups and the World card here. And the romantic gestures. I don't know. I'm feeling like this is this past person of y'all's. It's because I'm telling y'all, the, the past person, the ex-person, toxic person, they always, always sneak back in in the middle of the readings when things are going good. I'm telling you, always. So this imbalance could be because of this person here because they see you moving on and they are impatient and they are trying to antagonize the situation. They're trying to make shit difficult for you, okay? Um, I really feel like that this is this past person. Tell me the energy of this past person for the collective right now. What's the energy of this past person for the collective right now? This person that they're leaving here. Yeah, look at that. Seven of Swords. Look can be deceiving. Mm -hmm. That was they asses. I told I knew it. I knew it. That was them. Liar, mask, false pretenses, cunning. Sneak. Yeah, they're probably going to be trying to tell this person all type of shit about you. Or they're going to be trying to um, disrupt this Ace of Wands here that came out sideways. They just need an outlet. They need something to do. Inception, emerging ideas, bubbling under the surface, lacking direction. They just sitting there watching you be happy and they're getting angrier and angrier and angrier and they need something to do. So what are they going to do? They're going to come in and try to disrupt your fucking relationship, your happiness. Like, get the fuck on somewhere. Tell me about this person's current energy, this past person. I knew that was them. That's why that Seven of Swords kept popping up. I knew it was them. Oh, shit. What is all of this shit? Hold on, guys. I gotta go let my kids in the house. <laughs> they just got off the bus. No, they haven't got off yet. I thought I heard them. But yeah, that's this person right here needing some bored, need something to do. Sitting over there mad and boiling, look, bub bubbling under the surface. The more stuff you post about this person, look, page of want, page of swords, because maybe they can get back in or something. Or the more stuff they hear about you and this person, about you moving on, they, they. <laughs> Yeah, we're not even going I don't even like to give them too much attention when they pop back up in the middle of my reading like that. Why y'all disrupting my reading though? Why? Don't do that. Yeah, look, it's, they no more cards even coming out. Ain't even nothing else to say. Don't even that's this person. All that imbalance and all this quick temper and that stuff like that. That's this person here. That's that past person that you guys are dealing with, that you have gotten away from, that you have blocked. Okay. That's going to be sitting there literally blood boiling because you are moving on with your life. And they can't do anything about it but sit there and be mad. <laughs> so what are the uh, love messages here for the collective spirit? What are the love messages here for the collective spirit? Look, I'm requiring love. Mm -hmm. That's them. You don't care about this person no more. That's why they over there with their blood boiling. Because you done moved on. You don't care about them no more. Anything else here? Anything else? You moved on with your life. And they mad. Look, deception. Wearing a false mask. Mm -hmm. That's them. That's them. Oh, my goodness. Okay, past life relationship. You have known each other before. All right, playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yeah, I feel like this person is going to, um, this new person is going to do just that, especially with this, um, this six of cups cards here. They're, they're going to bring out your playful side, your, your childlike wonder again. Okay. <laughs> I feel like this person going to set up some really good dates for y'all too. All right, um, heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Yeah, y'all gonna have to let them know about this crazy ass ex of y'all. Y'all gonna have to. And then you have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Yep. Waiting on you to heal here. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal. Look, know what I say. 
As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Mm-hmm. Yep. Very soon. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Yeah. That's what I said. As soon as you guys start manifesting this person, as soon as you feel like you're ready to get back out there at 55, on the dots when I said that, okay, big change is coming. Five, five. Okay, number five is about changes coming. Um, But, yeah, as soon as you figure out, like, hey, I'm going to try to get back out there, and you just go to the grocery store and, bam, run into this person. <laughs> Like, damn, I just said I might be ready to get back out there. Now I'm already meeting somebody. What's going on, universe? Okay, look, because they say this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Yeah, this is somebody that you know. Mm -hmm. Lots of chemistry here with you and this person. It is safe to love this person. Okay. Oh, Lord, here we go with the hex. Codependency and release your ex. Here they go. Here they go. So dramatic. Oh, my God, I miss you so much. They're codependent on you. They're addicted to you. Forget them. Anyways, that's why I, that's why I always stop the reading that as soon as they start popping back up. <laughs> Alright. Now I'm gonna get some uh um, um, um signs for you guys. See who's coming in for y'all, what their signs are here. Okay. Alright, spirit, please give me signs for the collective's new person that they're going to meet. Who's the new person that the collective is going to meet? What are their signs here? Possible signs for the collective new person. Signs for the um, new person that's coming in for the collective. So, okay, there we go. Oh, we got two here. That fell out Mars and Jupiter. Let's get one more. Thank you. Here we go. And Saturn. Okay. So Aries, uh, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. Okay. For some of y'all, I'm feeling like the Aries could possibly be the person, your ex person that some of y'all are dealing with. Just because I know how Aries people are, okay? They can have quick tempers. The, the, I mean the god of Aries rules over like anger and um you know stuff like that so yeah and you have fire here on the bottom aries leo sagittarius okay and then virgo on the top okay so any of those signs could be coming toward you or it could be your past person or it could be your sign okay take it how it resonates with you um i was gonna do one more thing Yeah, I want to see what the messages are between you and this past person or this future person. I just want to see what messages come out for you guys here. If they have anything to say, especially this past person, okay? I feel like they're going to have a lot to say. Okay. Any messages from their past person here for the collective? Messages from their past person. messages between them and their past person this could be something that you said they said or something that you guys want to say okay where are the messages for the collective here Messages for the collective here from their past person between them and their past person. What does this person want to say to them? What are the messages here? What does this person want to say to them? Okay, let's see. What does this past person want to say to the collective? What does this past person want to say to the collective? Person, want to look at that? Look what flipped over here. Can y'all see that? Stalking. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. We're watching you. Mm -hmm. Watching folks going through phones, driving by. Mm -hmm. Or at least they trying to. But some of y'all, they can't. They can't even get to you. Okay. All right. 
So we have Why'd You Stop Talking to Me? Mm. Stalking here, driving by, going through your phone, watching your post. All right. Um, somebody they could be they have they could have made you like uh, brought down your self esteem, made you lose trust in yourself, made you question like the things that you believe and stuff like that. Okay, I'm they very manipulative, master manipulator. Okay, um, I'm so horny, don't nobody care. <laughs> Can you please unblock me? I told y'all they can't get to y'all because some of y'all they cannot get to you. <laughs> I just need to see you one time. Okay, something about September could be significant. This, uh, your birthday could be in September, their birthday, or something about September could resonate with you. It says, I want you, but I'm still with him or her. So this person is still possibly messing with the third-party person that they was cheating on you with. And the reason that you left, and they still want to know what you got going on. Oh, oh my gosh, it should have never happened. Oh, good grief. Something about a light-skinned male, okay? Somebody says, please call me them. I'm about to pop up. Oh, my God. See, this person, yeah, they're crazy. Look, I went through your phone. I told y'all. Oh, my goodness. I told y'all. This person's crazy. They crazy. They stalking you. They went through your phone. They trying to pop up on you. They want you to unblock them. Something about October could be significant on the bottom of the deck here. And it says, I honestly don't know what to do without you on the top of the deck. Okay. Any messages from the future person? Look, 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 look what fell out over here. I miss your cooking. <laughs> Go to Applebee's, get the new person to cook y'all. Shoot, all right. What are any messages from the new person? Any messages from the new person for the collective? Any messages from the new person from the collective? Mm -hmm. So we have he or she is jealous of you, okay? Maybe they have a person that they're dealing with, an ex or something that's jealous of you. Or maybe this is you telling this to the new person, okay? Because this old person is definitely going to be jealous of the new person, okay? Um, your new person could have their boundaries up when they meet you or you have your boundaries up with this person. Look at that. Look at that. Soulmate. Y'all cannot make this up. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. I really do love you. Okay, something about February could be significant. This person could be born in February. They could uh, possibly be an Aquarius. Um, or they could be born in February. Or this could be you. Or you could have met this person in February already. Or just something, whatever resonates with you for February. Okay, karmic female. This person could have been dealing with a karmic female. Okay, or um, if you're a male, then this past person of yours could be a karmic, the karmic female. Okay, um, ignoring your inner voice or wisdom here. Um, I don't know, take that how it resonates. Okay, somebody says, I used you for money. What, yeah, that's not from this new person. That's probably something this old person gonna say. Or I feel like this person is, if they ever talk to this person, they'll be like, they're just using you for your money or something like that. Okay, this person says, I have so much, I had so much fun with you, and um, all we do is fight. What, yeah, I don't know what that's about either. That could be this other person sneaking back in. I don't know. Maybe y'all might eat, y'all might actually even like if this person does get to your new person, y'all may actually have a fight about this person here because this is what they want to do. They want to cause chaos and conflict in your relationship. Okay. Something about August could be significant. Okay. Um, and then somebody on the top of the deck says, I've been trying to get in touch with you. New phone, who this? I told y'all this person trying to get in touch with y'all. Okay. They're trying to get to you, trying to get to your person, all type of stuff here. All right, I'm going to get some letters for you guys. First, last, middle, initials of you or your person um, or your ex-person, future person, whatever. Okay, let's do it like this. Let's get some initials for your past person first. Initials for your past person. Okay. We have, um, for a movement here with the, with the, uh, with the horse here, okay, you guys moving away from this person, we have an S, an A, a D, 
a C, another S, and a G, okay? First class middle initials of um, your future person. Oh, look at that, y'all. I didn't even see this letter B got attached to my, it's a B attached to my damn. Wow, okay. And I see A, B, C, D here, okay? So you guys, this is this is for move. A, B, C, D is going this way, progressing in the alphabet. So y'all definitely progressing away from this person. <laughs> First class middle initials of the new person. Oh, look at that. A key. Key to your heart. So sweet. All right. M F A R A W Q uh, a P S N I. All right. So those are the messages that I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please comment, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.